Hello everyone, Maciej Gawronski here and in this video I will be showing you how you can lower the amount of no-shows that you have for your sales calls and for those that don't know me, I'm the owner of Gavronify, an agency that we help coaches and consultants to acquire 10 plus extra clients under 3 months, so let's get started. So basically, this is the most common situation that you will have in your uh, business if you are doing outbound prospecting and also if you are managing some, uh, some inbound uh, strategies like uh, DMing people that join your Facebook group or other stuff and basically it looks like the first message after you have the prospect eng engaged then you will send them your calendar link and they book a call I'm not going to dive more into this section I will be focusing on this part after the call is booked to, to the close deal. So basically there's a lot of things that can happen between the time when the call is booked to the time when the deal is closed. So the most case scenario to have the deal closed you need the prospect to show up. So by actually increasing the show up rate on your calls you are increasing the number of profit that you are making. So this is a huge part that you have to think about and put the right systems to the place. So basically speaking from my experience I have run 80% of uh, shows at my agency and for other agency that are working with my clients uh, after implementing the systems and strategies that I'll be showing you right away uh, I also have lowered the number of no-shows and also uh, the other the one other bonus is that including my systems I have helped dozens of business owners to not only lower the number of no-shows but also increase the quality of calls that they are getting and people that are getting into those calls. So they are the start, they were most of the people that I have been working with, that was like, uh, yeah, the person booked a call and on the call they was like, like, who are you? Like, what do you do? Why, why are you here? And the calls right now, most case scenarios that my clients are uh, getting are like, yeah, I know what you're doing. Let's go straight to the point. Give me the price and let's get started. So basically, uh, for some of them, it's leveraging a two-step close. Uh, so we basically have one call. It's a discovery call. And you have the second call, which is a sales call. So for that scenario, uh, you will have to set up two events in uh, every, any software that you're using. For every client, I'm setting a Calendly. Even if someone have a goal high level, I still prefer doing everything in Calendly because I have never had any issue with it. And uh, with Go High Level, the calendar setup, I, I have heard some people talking about having some issue with it. So I just, I just, as I know how to leverage the uh, Calendly booking and everything, then I'm implementing the Calendly uh, stuff to every person. So it could change from person to person, but basically after a person will call, you want to have a confirmation email, you can use the template that uh, Calendly is giving you. And this is a really game, this is a real game changer that uh, after we have implemented this, I can say that this was the main thing, uh, the main reason why we have lowered the number of no-shows. 24 hours before the call, we the person have to write the writing confirmation so it was something like we are a little high capacity uh, right now in our agency and uh, we are just making sure that you show up for the call tomorrow that we have so basically if you will be there then just uh, reply to this email saying i will be there uh, secure my spot uh, uh, anything like that and yeah that's also have increased our number of uh, shows and also want to add a sms reminder to this to this and basically one hour before uh, a reminder email and 10 minutes before email and sms for those i really recommend just using the defaults that calendar is giving you this is a funny thing because in one agency uh, they had a set up zoom calls for for the calls i'm personally using google meets but they were using and are still using uh, zoom calls and not every person had the Zoom and some of the prospects they thought that it would be a, a phone call or a Google Meet call and <laughs> the, the only reason why they didn't show up is because they didn't know that it's a Zoom meeting. So we just added uh, into every email at the bottom that the meeting will be hosted on Zoom. So they went to actually have an account to that and <laughs> yeah, that, that was also the, the one 
switch that we made and this uh, decreased the amount of no-shows. Uh, so for the second call we want to have as much reminders as possible and for that part is also um, we really like to leverage uh, case studies, uh, testimonials, any social proof, anything like that in this. So the same as before, confirmation email, a case study and uh, you can include as much case studies as you want in this. So basically you can send uh, one case study after uh, two or three hours. And we want to have the case study hosted on the YouTube channel. So it could be like you talking with your client that you have and describing the results that you have managed to get him. And yeah, that stuff works really well to just warn the prospect more on the call. Yeah, so the, the same applies uh, to this before, but we are leveraging a lot of case studies in here. And the bonus tip that I would like to give you is to, in a confirmation email, include a Loom video, a YouTube video, just any video that you will be describing your process, what you are doing, what the, can, what the person could expect, uh, like the whole process. And at, at this point, people will actually see if uh, this is a good fit for them and uh, basically after watching this video they can decide for themselves like the the old the other calls that they have was like the people didn't even know what they were selling and where they reveal uh, <laughs> the second whip on like the platform where they're leveraging to to get their clients that was like oh uh, i don't want to show my fans somewhere they didn't know that the person was selling a content and uh, yeah, after the, the video in the first email, uh, some of the people have cancelled the call before it actually happens. So it also saves you a ton of time and just making sure that you're talking only with qualified prospects. And if you still have no shows after ravaging this uh, workflows, then you need to have real systems in place. And for that, we are ravaging maybe not the craziest systems, but the systems that are pretty much working for us. Again, if you don't have the right systems, you're trying to scale up your coaching business, your consulting business, your agents, whatever you're doing, then you will be a total mess. If you are trying to do everything by yourself, you will also be a total mess. So basically there's a process that uh, we are averaging. Mm, we are using a closed CRM there. Uh, for myself, I'm using a pipe drive CRM. And basically if we move someone to a no-show stage, then there are going through a whole sequence, whole email sequence, when we are trying to them to rebook the call. And basically all the system uh, are making sure that once a person rebook a call, then it's stopping to sending emails to them. And yeah, this is also a game changer for us because we don't have to go to our emails, checking the person respond and sending them email asking for rebook for several times and if you are now trying to scale up your business and uh, you're getting a lot of calls then you might find a really mess up with everything if you're trying to do everything by yourself because there will be a whole lot of stuff to manage and uh, there is where system comes into the place i mean if you're using close feel free to copy that i, I would say uh, if you never run any automation it would take you around a few days to, to set up uh, this automation and basically after that we are also adding the users to uh, convert it so our newsletter actually for now we are adding every person that uh, book a call to a newsletter so yeah we also have automation with someone book a call and just driving it into the CRM so yeah I, I think that's it for for the part. Alright, so this was all for this video and if you are a coach or consultant that is selling a high ticket stuff and you are looking to add anything between 10 to 30k per month then there is a link down in the description and this is a link for my calendar when you can book a discovery call with me and my team and basically only click this link if you think that you are finally ready to scale up your business to the next levels and yeah, see you there, take care.